this unworldly picture you see right here is called a tesseract. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have some understanding as to what this is and what the fourth spatial dimension is. also a reminder to start focusing on your own light and what you think you're destined to do here in this world. You're part of my life, you are everything. I could not go on without you, I know that. Get out, get out, get out of my life! Once you do, you will be inspired to live with purpose. They were using sonic Because you have just received the answer to your prayers straight from your guardian angels. Are you okay? The angel number four forbears the message that you will soon be receiving divine blessings. Why is this happening? TV or in the mirror something is right Here's a better picture showing the three dimensions. Another way to describe the length, width, and height could be on a graph, such as X, Y, and Z. You could also think of it this way. Whatever room you are in, look at a top or a bottom corner. See how there are three lines all at one point? Each of those lines are perpendicular from each other. So hopefully you guys see a pattern. Going up in dimension utilizes all of the previous dimensions. To get to the first dimension, you have to start with two points. To get to the second dimension, you have to start with two points. To get to the third dimension, you have to start with two squares. And with every increased dimension, you are basically adding a new direction. Each new direction is perpendicular from all of the other directions. Thus, to get to the fourth dimension, you have to start with two cubes and connect them. As you see in this picture, the yellow lines connect two cubes. Imagine the yellow lines as lines that are perpendicular from all other three directions, X, Y, and Z. The only issue with looking at this picture is that you are looking at it from a two-dimensional computer screen or computer screen. So it just looks like a bunch of messed up lines. What a story, Mark. You drive me crazy. That's the idea. What an interesting part is that. If you take a cube and unfold it, as shown in this video, you end up with some squares shaped as a cross in the second dimension. Likewise, if you take a tesseract and unfold it, you end up with some cubes shaped as a cross in the third dimension. Suppose there is a world with two-dimensional creatures, that is, a creature who can only see in two directions. If this two-dimensional creature was introduced to a three-dimensional creature, such as a human, he would only see a two-dimensional cross-section image of us as we pass through their world. I treat you like a princess. You stab me back. Why did you do this? You know better, right? Why? Likewise, if a fourth dimensional creature was passing through our 3D world, we would only see slivers of that creature, which is really creepy. Imagine the sun is directly above this object. As you see, the shadow from a one-dimensional object, the line, 
is a point of view. A shadow from a two-dimensional object and then drive the square there. is a line. In a shadow from a three-dimensional object, the really cube. The cube. So then one day it's I lost a it off to six or three weeks to catch my Thus, the shadow yeah. of a tesseract, yeah. it's not where a fourth-dimensional okay. object would be a cube. Okay, God is going to be there. Jesus Christ is going to be there. All the angels. The only issue about and, this you know, animation whatever, is that the, the tesseract we see be moving like Star Trek, can only be interpreted by us humans and I move on as a 3D object, because we are looking at it from a 2D object. Whatever's the beyond. I know it's going to be good because I didn't do so anything. So hopefully you guys have a little bit of a better right understanding as to what and I the fourth spatial dimension is and, and what a tesseract so are you is. Saying that you I even have a hard time figuring it out, what but are you, what are you, what are you, I mean, we're you, humans. You it's like story. explaining a to color to someone. You know, change you the story just, on what? You really no, can't. About whether it was self-defense or not. I'm not going to say it.